Hi, I'm Tom Interval, San Diego Magician, and today's tutorial is on the thumb fan. The thumb fan is called a thumb fan because you spread the deck of cards with your thumb, surprisingly. <laughs> so the thumb fan looks like this. Okay, that's a complete thumb fan. Now, let me stress, before I teach you this, don't put too much pressure on yourself to get it perfect every time. In the real world, when you're performing magic, you will do a thumb fan and it won't be perfect. Sometimes you'll be out maybe at a restaurant or at a party and someone's hands are a little greasy from food. And then you have them touch your cards or whatnot. And then they'll get a little bit of grease on your cards and then the they won't fan perfectly. As long as it's a good fan. Now, why learn a fan? Well, if you're going to have someone, quote, pick a card, you're going to uh, have a nice display to have them select. It's not necessary. You could always do this and have them pick a card. You could always spread the deck on the table, have them pick a card. Doesn't matter. Thumb fan is not completely necessary to learn, but gives your act a little more polish, a little more, uh, your card act a little more polish, I, just, I should say. So to do a thumb fan, I'm going to give you some basic pointers and then I'll have some close-up shots as well. So when you do a thumb fan, depending on the size of your hand and the position in particular, how you hold it, it's going to come out differently. So you have to experiment with different positions of the grip. I grip my thumb fan, uh, I'm sorry, I grip the deck of cards like this. Thumb in front and the fingers in the back. Now, if you cock it like this, it will tend to be rounder. If you cock it like that, it won't be as round. In fact, I'll give you a demo. It doesn't look quite as good. So if you want it to look nice and round, uh, start from the very, very left as much as you can, and you cock it back, and then you spread it like that. That'll give it a nice, whoops, round appearance. These are new cards, so they're really slippery. And then to give it that extra round look, then what you do is you kind of push these together a little bit, and it gives it that complete circular look. All right? So let's do this in close-up or a little more closely so you can see a little more precisely how to do it. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you the thumb fan a little closer so you can see a little bit better how to do this. Now again, the thumb fan is simply taking your thumb of one hand, holding the deck in the other hand, and spreading the cards in a clockwise motion from left to right. And then at the very end, you can kind of adjust it so it's a little rounder. That is the basic thumb fan. Now, again, the way to hold it is you hold your hand like this, not like this, but like this. You place the deck in your hand, and depending on how you hold it, that will determine how large or how small the fan is and the shape of the fan as well. If I hold the deck real far down, it looks like a kind of a smaller fan, especially when you hold it from the, when you view it from the front. Um, but then, if you hold it a little farther up, it'll look a lot bigger. Now, the basic thumb fan is just this. You don't have to do the full rounding later on. You can just do a, a typical thumb fan. And again, this is used if you just want to have someone pick a card. Um, so, no big deal. Doesn't have to be perfect every time. In the real world, you're not going to get it perfect every time. But keep in mind, you want to cock it back like this. And the further back you can cock it, the rounder it will be. If you start the fan out here, in other words, if it's not back here, it won't be quite as round. And it looks okay, but it doesn't look quite as good. These are really slippery cards, so they keep slipping from me, so forgive me there. Um, so you cock it back, your thumb contacts this area. You go in a clockwise circular motion, all right? And that's what forms the fan. Some magicians do it with their fingers. I like to do it with my thumb. That's just a matter of preference. A little note on closing the fan. When you close the fan, just use your single finger or your two fingers, whatever, and find this end and just close it like that. So it looks like this. Okay. And again, if you want that extra rounded look, just kind of adjust it like that. And by the way, when I do that, I not only adjust this part of it by pulling cards this way, the underside also, my left finger is kind of 
rotate it like this as I do that. Now, of course, that looked horrible from the front, but let me show you what it looks like in real speed. You do this and then this, and that gives it a round look. Now, that one looked kind of small because I was holding it a little lower. So you cock it back, you do that, and it looks pretty good. Again, don't pressure yourself to make this look perfect. I will talk more about these other decks in just a second. Now, as I said, depending on the deck of cards you use, your thumb fan will look different. For instance, again, now this deck I'm using is the Erdnace deck, it's B brand, and they call them acorn backs, okay? But what makes these cards a little more unique in comparison to standard bicycle cards, and even though this deck is different, they're still bicycle cards. Um, it's, they're made by the U.S. Playing Card Company. And what makes this deck a little more unique is that the indices, the part up here, they're smaller. So they tend to show up better when you're actually fanning the deck, just so you know. And that also applies when you're doing a pressure fan. Now, again, a pressure fan is going to be a separate tutorial. So as I said, the, deck, the uh, fan will look different. If I fan these, you'll see that not all the indices show up quite as well. It's still a very pretty fan. Um, so not all the indices show up as well. Now, the neat thing is, if you have a deck like this, this is a uh, also made by the U.S. playing card company, the Bugs Bunny deck. I'm not even sure if they still make them. But the Bugs Bunny deck or any deck of cards similar to this with a pattern that goes all the way to the edge gives you really interesting fan patterns. For instance, if I were to do a thumb fan with Bugs Bunny showing, you see the really, really pretty pattern. And then if you want that a little more round, again, you can just kind of adjust it. And uh, if you fan it like this, you can see Elmer Fudd's hat, the brown part. Once again, you could complete the fan. It's unnecessary, really. So there are some magicians who are more manipulative magicians. They'll be on stage doing card magic to music, and they use what are called fan, um, fanning cards. You can buy fanning cards at any magic deal or any magic shop, but if you can find a deck of cards that handles well like these, you could also use these like fanning cards. So keep that in mind. Depending on what deck you select, your fan will look different. 